John Roscombe has got a question for you, John. Oh, look, Senator, firstly, congratulations on your ascension to uh, the Senate uh, this week. Thanks, John. Uh, down here in, in Melbourne at the IPA, we've all been intrigued by a comment of your leader about one world government. Yes. Now, did he really mean it? And how is it going to work? And how many seats are the Greens going to have in a one world parliament? Well, hopefully lots, John. But um, look, Bob is a... Uh... Bob is a great politician because he's a dreamer and he's a pragmatist. So, I mean, Bob made the comment that it's not something that would happen in our lifetime. I think he's, he's probably oh, right on that front. But it doesn't stop you from uh, dreaming big, and I think that's a good thing. But we've all got our feet firmly on the ground. I know that uh, we'll be focusing on issues like, for example, the health portfolio I've got, which I, I want to see a publicly funded dental scheme, for example. I want to see a prevention-focused health system. They're the things I'll be working on. Uh, but that doesn't stop you from dreaming big. We've got uh, politics in this country where there's a complete lack of vision, a complete lack of big-picture, long-term thinking, and it's good every now and then to throw in some of these things to stimulate public debate. And let's not forget, the UN's actually been working on this for a while, and I know Bob received some uh, warm congratulations for his views on that. I'm sure he did. <laughs> um.